Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you or explain you everything what you need to know about XAMPP server. I will go through file system of XAMPP so as we will be creating one small HTML page and I will show you how to host it also on XAMPP and I will also show you where you can access PHP my admin so you are able to create databases on XAMPP server. So let's get into it guys and first thing if you would want to start working with XAMPP is by starting your Apache server and MySQL server and first thing is as you remember from my last video if you watched my last video on how we install exam we pinned this icon as you see exam control panel icon at the bottom of the page if I click on it it will open control panel but if you didn't pin this icon here on taskbar I will show you where you can find it at the very first time so let's close this and let's open any folder and then here on the left hand side just search for Windows C as you remember from my previous video when we were installed example I was telling you that we are installing it on Windows C and I highlighted it and I said was that I will return back to it so you understand that this is where we installed it as you saw guys I right clicked here just on this tab and now we can see that we are in this C this means that we have installed our exam here on this C drive and if we scroll down here we will find our exam so first thing what you need to understand about file system is that all your exam uh, softwares which we install Included in XAMPP are all in this one folder exam guys so now let's click into this folder and here you can see guys Apache is very first one so in this folder of XAMPP there is only Apache server then we have here also FileZilla FTP software then we have htdocs and htdocs folder is that folder where you will be storing all your applications from now on and I will also show you how you can do it but here first thing to start XAMPP guys let's scroll a little bit down as you can see here is also your mysql here is also your Perl. here is also your php and each of these folders separately they hold this one software so everything in future if you will want to find about for example mysql you go into this or if you want php my admin and php my admin is just a user interface to access or to create or to interact with mysql so these are two different softwares mysql is a database and PHP PHP my admin is a software which allows users or us to interact by using PHP my admin to MySQL because to interact and create tables create databases you could also use simply command line so now here at the very bottom if you will keep on scrolling you will also find these three applications where one is exam start exam stop and exam control and what we need is exam control because we want to open exam control panel just double click on this exam control and you will Will also be able to open exam control panel and after you have opened exam control panel like I mentioned in my last video if you are planning to create web applications or PHP applications always pin this icon to the taskbar just right click on it and here click on pin from now on you will be able to access exam control panel here from your taskbar now let's start Apache server and MySQL as you can see first one is Apache so let's start our Apache and MySQL is a database as you can see it is started I can stop it guys and I can start it again and here you can see ports where they are running on but now let's go and let's open a browser and in browser you can type in localhost and once you type in localhost you will be redirected to this application straight away as you can see localhost dashboard but if we will go back to our control panel let's open a control panel if I will stop this Apache server and if I stop my SQL and I will refresh it you will see that I'm not able to access any more because as you see guys everything what now if you will be typing in localhost this is related to this one package to XAMPP and only if your Apache server will be started I'm always starting also my SQL or my SQL only then this localhost will be redirecting you to somewhere currently it is redirecting us to this dashboard as you can see I will show you where this website is coming from but in general first thing what you also need to understand is guys that this website is all also located in your exam folder and it is also on your local computer this is not some outside website for example if we delete this dashboard as you see we again hit enter it will again redirect us to dashboard and how it works and why it is redirecting to this particular page which we can also browse I will also explain you in a second so now let's get back into the file system let's open a folder guys like I mentioned first thing what we are always doing if we want to access exam we are going 
into Windows C here and here we are going into XAMPP. As you can see here at the very bottom, here is this XAMPP and like I already mentioned, I'm repeating one more time guys and I know that I'm repeating myself just because this is a tutorial for absolute beginners, I want you to understand it and if we click here somewhere on this tab, we can see that we are in C. Like I mentioned in the last video, this is where your XAMPP is and I showcased you this when we were installing XAMPP. And here we just go to XAMPP folder, all data about XAMPP like you already understood is in this one folder. So so everything is in one folder. So all your MySQL databases or your P Apache server as you can see here, all your PHP MyAdmin and all your files will be located for all your applications here in this directory. So whenever in future you want to create any application, website, locally you will need to host it here or put all files here in this htdocs directory so let's click into it and let's have a look what is in this directory as you can see here are different already folders and here is one index.php file so index.php file is that file which is being accessed as the first file in any folder at all so program when, when it is looking at a folder, when it will, is going into the folder, it is looking for some index file. And if there in that folder is index file, it is accessing it as a very first file in that particular folder. As you can see here, we have this index file. So let's open this index file and I will open it in my notepad plus plus just by going to file. I'm going to open, I'm going into Windows C and I'm going to my exam folder and I'm going to this htdocs, like I mentioned to htdocs and then we are going into this index file. Let's open this index file just by clicking open and here you can see what is going on here. Here we have a PHP code in this file. In this index file we have this PHP code and this PHP code is redirecting us to this location dashboard folder. So there should be also a dashboard folder in this htdocs directory as you can see. Here is this dashboard folder where we are getting redirected to. So this website whenever we are going to localhost first thing what is happening it is is going into this htdocs and it is opening this index.php file and index.php file is redirecting us to this dashboard and if we click into this dashboard you will find all code for this page and to see that this is really happening and this php code is redirecting us to this dashboard directory we could simply to comment out this php code by uh, forward slash star sign and we can close this comment by star sign forward slash and this would comment out so now this is acting as a comment this is not active code and let's save this file and now let's go back and now let's again try to access localhost so now well, I will delete this dashboard and I will access localhost and as you can see something is wrong with this exam installation so now if we go back to our code we can see that here in the our code this is what it is displaying something is wrong with this exam installation so as a result whenever we are going into localhost the first folder which we are accessing is this HD docs folder in which is located in exam folder and all our applications will be here and we are accessing this index.php file and whenever we are accessing this index.php file it is displaying or redirecting us or starting some application what i am always doing i am deleting this dashboard altogether just click on it click on delete and next thing what i am deleting is index.php file as well because i will be storing my applications here and i will show you in a second how i can do it or how we can do it so let's delete this index file as well and now if we will go back and we will click just on localhost and we click on enter you will see the same files or folders which are located in this directory as now if i will open you can see here guys now we have here im img webalizer exam applications and here we can also see applications there we also have this img we have this webalizer so pretty much everything what we have in htdocs directory now we have also here so from now on whenever your exams exam control panel is started whenever you will be typing in into any browser localhost you will be redirected straight away into htdocs directory and this will be the way how we will be storing our applications and how we will be creating our applications so i will show you now example how you can do it for example if you would want to create a new application here in as you remember we are in exam directory first thing you are in exam directory and you are in htdocs directory 
from XAMPP as you can see or folder htdocs and here we have these files and here in htdocs let's create a new folder to do this right click and click on new and here select folder and we will call this folder website or website one let's call it a website one and what we will do next is we will create an index file we will create a new file for our websites here i will just type a simple h1 tag guys and i will say hello hello from website one and now let's save this file click on save as we are going to windows windows c then we are clicking into xamp from here we are going into htdocs directory and then we are going into our website one yes guys we will not be storing this file in this htdocs directory but we will be storing it in our website one because from now on all our applications if we will be creating multiple websites they will be in htdocs directory but our content for each website will be in particular directory in this case website one and there we will save this file as index.php this file could also be index.html and let's save this file guys now let's go back to browser let's refresh this localhost if we refresh this local host here you can see our website once appear here similar what is in this HT docs there is website one and if we will go forward slash here from a local host forward slash we will go into website one and click enter you will see that now we are seeing hello why we are straight away seeing this hello from website one is because if again go back to HT docs directory where we have this folder as you see now i go in there is this index file like i mentioned guys index files are the first files which are being read by any program so when it accessed website one folder as you can see here guys it didn't have to access index one page we could also specify it this way index.php and it would be pretty much the same thing but we don't need to specify this index as you see at the end guys because like i mentioned you can specify only directory name and now we are in this website one guys but we can create another website for example you want to store or create or work on many websites at the same time so you can easily do it let's open again htdocs directory and here again right click create a new folder and now we will create website 2 folder and in this website 2 folder we will also create another file i will just grab this code copy i will create a new file while i will paste this code here and here i will say hello from website 2 here we go and now let's save this file save as in that directory website 2 as index file as well so now let's go to htdocs now we go website 2 as you see and here we will save this file as index.php index.php and let's save this file and now if we will go back guys now if we will refresh this page you can see currently we are in website one if i will remove this index as i don't need it as you remember second one is website 2 so i will say localhost forward slash website 2 i click enter and you can see we are now in website 2 hello from website 2 here we go as you can see in folder system that is exactly what we are what is happening ht docs let's go in and here we have website 1 website 2 if we go localhost website 2 we are in that folder if we go into website 1 we are in that file system if we go into one this is in this file system so simple enough but now if we will go only to localhost now re let's remove anything and let's go only to localhost here in this way now you can see all your folders so in future you can simply start exam control panel and you can go to localhost and here you can see all your websites straight away and this way you can work easily with your websites and just by clicking on folder as there is index file for any of your websites you will be opening website straight away for example now also from here just by clicking on this folder website one or website two you can open them so let's click website one you can see it opens straight away let's go back to localhost you want to access your other website for example website two which you are also working on your computer you just click on other folder website two and you will be able to access your other website or for example if you are creating some wordpress websites you are also installing i will have a video i believe next video where i will show you how to set up a wordpress website on exam it will be exactly the same 
time we will just create a new folder we will put all files for that particular wordpress website in that folder and we will also be able to access that website from here or any other websites or projects you will be working they all will be here and you will easily be able to access them and files for them you are managing like i mentioned guys if we go to windows this is the first as you remember this is c drive where we installed this exam folder so all your applications everything for your exam is in this one folder so your mysql database your php my admin for your apache server and much much more and in htdocs directory like i mentioned this is the directory where your all folders with all your websites will be and whenever your exam is installed whenever your local host is opened you can easily access them if you would like to create a database is you can use php my admin and php my admin is just a user interface for mysql so pretty much you can use php my admin to create databases tables and manage your mysql databases by using php my admin and to access php my admin apache server and mysql has to be started on exam control panel and all you need to do is go here in localhost then you go forward slash and you type in php my admin and once you type in php my admin you will get redirected to php my admin this is like software like i mentioned to access my sql databases here you can see your databases by clicking in databases as you can see currently there is only like native databases there is also sql where you can write sql queries and much much more guys but i will not be getting into php my admin if you are interested let me know in comments and i can create a separate video on how to create manage databases that's pretty much it what I wanted to share with you and I hope that you now know how to navigate and understand everything about exam. I'm sorry that this video was so long but I was trying to just explain for newbies as this video is for absolutely new beginners who are just starting out and at the very start it could be a little bit harder to understand as I also once was a new developer. So yes guys hope that you all have found this video useful. If you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one.